Hello once again, and uh, tonight I am doing a review of one of my favorite all-time YouTubers, a uh, very no notorious figure here on YouTube, The Archfiend, and I am here to do a review of one of his most recent videos, uh, a review of The Archfiend's second annual Christmas giveaway. Now it's not titled as such, it's not titled the Christmas giveaway, it's titled differently for a reason. And I'll mention those as I go along. Uh, a little backstory on this. Uh, I used to be a big uh, fan boy of The Archfiend. I watched his videos the last two years. I used to watch his videos every day for the past year until recently. In the, in the past, now in the past three months, I've only watched three. Three of his videos. And I barely got through each one of them. It's gone to, the, gone to the point where I just can't stand the guy anymore. So, and for reasons that will be explained as I go along. So, anyway, I I took some notes here on uh, on Microsoft Word. Watching, I watched the video as I went along and t and uh, typed in my notes as I went along. So I'm gonna go through them, and all these observ these uh, observations are done in more or less in chronological order as I watched the video. So. So here we go. Um, let's get started. Now, the first thing that I noticed, obviously, is that the title is different. The title of the video is different. Last year, he did he, his video was titled "The First Annual Arch Fiend Christmas Giveaway." This year, it's titled much substantially different. It's called "Thanks, Guys." So, let me get this name here. Thanks, guys. Now, time to give a little back. Now, as if he doesn't call it a second annual giveaway titled it differently as it's to hide the fact that from the general, general audience and keep it strictly between him and his subscribers uh, if you remember the fallout from his last Christmas giveaway we had all this backlash and people calling him hypocrite and all that stuff so uh, it's, it's no coincidence to me that he, he kept it very subtle so the first two minutes he spent the first two minutes first two minutes of this video talking about himself and his channel Talks about bragging about having 25,000 subs, thousands of which are dummy accounts, by the way, link in the description, and getting people mad all the time with what he says. Now, we, he, you remember this? He, he likes to bitch and whine about Ray William Johnson and Shane Dawson. I just, I just seen other elite YouTubers having millions of subscribers and being so self absorbed and being so full of themselves. And here he is doing the exact same thing, celebrating his own milestone of, and inflating his own ego. Uh, at 2:35 into the video, he briefly mentioned last year's contest, which went obviously went very well for him because the fact that after all the backlash he took, he spent so much time having spent he spent more money than he probably intended just to save faith and to save the credibility of his uh, giveaway. Uh, the next minute and 30, uh, he talks about his latest scheme to get viewers involved in the show, having viewers submit their intro videos and their that is all videos um, for him to use. Now remember Shane, da Shane ja Dawson, I just think, Brittany Louise Taylor, all these other people do the same thing, soliciting viewer participation for use in their shows and profiting off this with their partners. But, you know, and YouTube poor rancher like the Archfiend like to uh, jump on this fact, but because it's the Arch, because it's the Archfiend doing this, because he, a YouTube partner, by the way, is profiting off your participation. It's all of a sudden it's a okay because he's the awesome Archfiend. At the four minute mark of the video, he starts to explain why he did he did all this. Now, uh, he he did the he did the same the same trick before, two years ago in a video, where he asked video he asked his viewers to rate his video one star. What else up here? Rate his video one star and thumbs down their own comments. And the user with the most thumbs down on their comments won a prize. And for this Christmas giveaway, he did the exact same thing. Uh, not Well, not quite the exact same thing, but very similar. Those who submitted these videos to him on his uh, awesome March Fiend uh, email account uh, were automatically entered into his Christmas contest. Where he's, the grand prize winner gets a $500 internet shopping spree. And to top it off, and I mentioned here, he likes to, to show off his humility 
by saying this from out of his own pocket, whatever, yeah, whatever. Uh, who really cares about that? Uh, just because it's coming out of his own pocket doesn't automatically mean it's more honorable. And as I'm saying that, I'm here at the 535 mark of this video, he talks about how you don't need to be subscribed to his channel. You mentioned this last year or so. You don't need to be subscribed to my channel. You don't have to favorite or like this comment. You know, as it, you know, if it, as it, again, as it, if it makes this his uh, video more honorable or more legitimate. You know, he said the same thing last year, and it didn't make a difference then either. Uh, at the 607 mark, he talks about how he doesn't trust everybody out there. But he doesn't want to fund somebody's drug habit. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, you know, the real reason, of course, for which he doesn't mention is the fact that. Again, he had all this backlash and cries of hypocrisy from critics, and it's something obviously that obviously that he's trying to avoid. Uh, at the 647 mark, he talks about a secondary contest where he asks Arch being trivia questions. First people with the correct answers uh, get a $100 gift certificate. At the 703 mark, he encourages people to follow his Twitter account 24/7 starting the week of December 12th uh, because he's going to ask random Arch fiend questions. On his Twitter feed, and the winners, people, the first people who submit answers are going to get a gift card. So basically, uh, you know, yeah, if you need to be awake. If you need to be awake at three or four in the morning just to find out the Arch Fiends uh, post some kind of a Twitter post that asking a random question, and your first, you know, the first person who submits the answer gets a gift, gets a gift card. So I mean, the me the message here is this. Uh, Watch my live show, watch my live blog TV show, follow me on Twitter, uh, revolve all your busy schedule around me, the Archfiend, because you might win a great prize. Uh, you know, all these self-promotion self schemes that uh, he's using here uh, to gain attention for himself, you know, without having to, without having to resort to favorite, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, this is which is proof that you don't need to do all these uh, YouTube poor tactics to to gain attention for yourself. Uh, and then there, oh, and there isn't there isn't much more I wrote here. All I said here is the last yeah the last three minutes. He, he just talks about himself the last three minutes pretty much. So so uh, what, here's some so here's something that uh, a lot of people might not like to hear. People who follow I Justine, people who follow Shane Dawson or the Angry Video Game Nerd, people who submit their videos or donate money to fund a movie, they're not doing this because they're expecting some sort of monetary gain from it. These 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 people these, these people, these subscribers, these followers of these YouTubers, they do it because they genuinely enjoy their product, they genuinely enjoy what they what they watch. The Archfiend is doing in comparison is he's telling his viewers, submit your video, send me your gifts, and you can win cash and you can win gift cards in return. You know, it's like he's trying to buy people's support. He's trying to buy off their loyalty. You know, and I I don't want to bitch and whine myself. I don't want to be um, a cynical asshole here and say. That, it, that it's wrong for people to give away free money, free gifts away. Look, who doesn't love free money, right? Who doesn't love free money? Uh, but, you know, to me, there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. And what the Archfiend, in my opinion, is doing, is, is doing it feels, so to feels totally wrong. You know, if he's really intent on carrying out this, this Christmas giveaway, he could have done it much differently, much better, much more compact, more concise. He could have created a video that was short, sweet, and to the point, you know, without having to be all about himself. You know, a sincere but brief thank you for your support. Uh, I'm holding a contest this year. Here are the ground rules. You know, visit my website for more info, etc., etc., etc. He could have done a video in half the time, a five, six minute video. To lay out all the ground rules for this contest instead of an 11 minute video where he spends half the time talking about himself. You know, it's like, it's like, I thank you, but you should thank me more.
Okay, so a few other notes I wrote here to summarize this thing on this page. In summary, okay, yeah, all right. So in short, to summarize this whole video, this contest, in fairness to the Archfiend, this contest looks a lot more legitimate than it did last year. Most importantly, there's no evidence of him eBay gain for anything. You know, remember all the rants about Cloud and the amazing atheists being eBayers? No eBay gain in this in this in this case. But you know, other than you know, other than that, you know, just you know, it's the same. It's it's SOS as far as Arch being concerned. You know, he's concealing. He basically concealed this contest. He, Keep it kept it away from the public to avoid backlash. He talks about he talks about himself as he always does. He crack, and congratulates himself about half the time. He employs all kinds of uh, whoring tactics by his own logic, without the need to ask for celebs, likes, favorites, etc. Even when he moans and bitches about other people whoring themselves out. And the most important point of this of this video is that he's trying to buy your support by offering you gifts. Uh, you know, as the Archfiend himself might say, how much of a hack, how much of a ta talentless hack do you have to be to stoop so low to resort to this kind of bullshit? Now, if you had any legitimate talent, you wouldn't be resorting to this. I mean, th this is this, this, this is, he, he ranted about the Irie Gamer and his PS3 giveaway scheme in, the si in a similar fashion. And that, yet, here he is, he should be asking himself the same question tw two years in a row now. You know, he, 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 has, he has been ranting about other people, uh, desperate to maintain their subscribers or fan base by giving away monetary prizes. Once, we, once viewers start losing interest in them or see through their BS. But the Archfiend himself is doing the exact same thing. And if he was more honest and more straightforward with his fans about this, you know, this would make this a little bit more acceptable, but obviously he's not doing that because him being the awesome Archfiend, he, because he's so awesome, he can't help him. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about this. Um, yeah, I had to watch the video twice, and yes, Archfiend, before you can say that, before you can say it, you're two times welcome. So, and then, so I'm gonna sign off by saying. Um, Bohika Archie. Bend over, here it comes again.